Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to go over three important post-processing features of Leonardo AI and those are upscaling, background removal and unzooming. Before I get started, a couple of updates for my channel. So I'm going to skip having the intro starting this video. I had always thought that you needed a professional intro for a YouTube channel to be more professional, but I'm going to stick to focusing on more in-depth content, diving deep into the individual tools versus trying to make my videos more flashy. Because I think if the content moves way too fast, it's just a lot of jump cuts and a lot of entertaining videos, but you don't really learn anything in depth. Please add a comment if you'd like me to continue skipping the intro because I don't really care about it. I thought it was more for the viewers. All right, the next thing is if you don't have a Leonardo AI account, make sure to go to the first video in this series where I explain how to get an account and how to get everything set up. For today's video, I'm gonna continue with the theme of having female alchemists, but this time I placed her entire lab in the forest. Like all my other videos, I'll have the timestamps mentioned in the description below. All right, let's get started. So what is post-processing? There's a lot of ways to generate images. You can use your own prompts, you can remix other people's images, you can use image to image. And now after you have your image ready, post-processing is what you use to fine tune your image to make it really pop, to make it really stand out and perfect. In my last video, I already showed you how to use the AI canvas, which is one form of post-processing where you edit the image in different styles and do a bunch of different things to make the image exactly how you need. The three functionalities I'm gonna show you today are not that involved. It's more like a one-click thing, but it does add a lot of improvements. So if you hover over any of the images you created, you're gonna see that you have 25 post-processing tokens every day. So if you click on any of these things, it's gonna use up one token. If you do that 25 times, you're gonna use up all the free tokens you have for today. It does reset every day, so you have a lot of options to edit your pictures after you generate them. The first one I'm gonna go over is upscaling. So if you click this upscale button, this image, which is already pretty high quality, is gonna go up even higher in quality. So let's try it out. So if you click this, it's gonna say working. And now you see you have only 24 post-processing tokens left because this image has now been upscaled. This shows up here in this dropdown. This is the original image. It looks pretty good, but this looks a lot more smoother and fancier. So it's an upscaled image of this original image here. So let me try the same upscaling on this image right here. So this is a female alchemist and apparently she has three hands. I'm gonna click upscale. So this is the upscaled version of the same image. This is the original image and this is the upscaled image. According to my observations, the upscaling of the image usually makes it a bit more realistic. So the original generations are usually more video game like and the upscaled image is usually more photorealistic. So this is closer to a photograph. At this time, upscaling here only exists as a single button click, so there's not much you can do. You can't really select sections of the image to upscale. So after you upscale them, it's gonna show this icon right here, telling you that you have the upscaled version of these generations available. All right, let's go to the next post-processing option. If you go to this image, you're gonna see that this image is a beautiful character in the middle of a forest. There's a bunch of things going on, but what if you want just a character for usage in a different website or a video game? You can do that using the remove background option, which removes all the backgrounds and just keeps the character. After you do that, it's gonna show you this icon right here, which means that the background removed version of this image is available. If you click on this, you're gonna see this image has all its background removed. You can compare it with the original image in this dropdown. This is the original image with the forest and other things going on. This is the one with no background. So now you can just download this background removed version of that image and you can use this character in anything, maybe a thumbnail or something else. There are some issues here with the fingers, as you see, that need to be fixed, but the torso here, I think, can be used in a different situation. An example would be if you want to use this character in a different scene and combine them together in the canvas, and you don't want this forest in the background, you can remove the background and then just place this image in a scene, and then this can be a part of a whole character set of a game. Let me also try to remove the background of this image. I think I should start giving them names. I think I'm gonna call her Emerald because of the lamp here. So Emerald here both has an upscaling and the background removal done on her. So it's gonna show both these icons right here. If you click on the drop down, you're gonna see the original image, the upscaled image, and the one with no background. So this image can now be used without the context of the forest and used independently in a different scene which has nothing to do with the forest or a lab. All right, the last post-processing functionality I think is the most unique to Leonardo AI because I've not seen it in any other tools and that's called unzooming. So what does unzooming mean? If you zoom in, you're gonna get closer to the image, 
but if you unzoom you're going to go farther from the image that means more of the background will show up i've already showed how you can do that in the ai canvas video where you can add the background sections to create a whole scene but if you don't want to use the canvas to create more of the background you can just click the unzoom and it's going to unzoom the image and create more of the scene i'm going to call this alchemist purple fire so let's add some unzooming on purple fires image click this it's going to spend a few seconds working on it perfect so now we have the unzoom functionality added on it it's going to show its icon right here which means an unzoomed version of this image is available you can just find it right here if the image now shows more of the scene it's working in so in the original image you don't see the rest of these plates you don't see what's happening here after clicking unzoom it added more details but I think you got the idea. Unzooming just creates more of the scene that the image is sitting in without having to do much editing like you have to do in the AI canvas. For me, I actually like it unzoomed even more. But as you see, you can't really unzoom anymore because you just click this and it's unzoomed. You can't do anything more. To unzoom this image even more, there's a hack I use sometimes and it doesn't work all the time, but I'm gonna show you how it works so you can see this in live action. To do that, I just download this image save image so this is the image of purple fire let's save it here and now what i do is i actually do a new generation do a reset to default to an image to image for purple fire i usually add something relevant to the image which does not destroy it too much and after that i make this in its strength pretty high what this means is that it's going to keep this image pretty close to the original i'm going to do one generation and click generate cool so this is the original image i used and this is the new generation where i kept the image strength pretty high and generated a new picture of her which is pretty close to the original now why did i do another generation of the same kind of image you might have already guessed i just want to unzoom even more so i click unzoom again and now i have the unzoomed image it goes back even more as you see now this is an unzoomed image of this image right here which was already an unzoomed image of this one so we started with this and we ended with this one i just want to do this one more time just for the heck of it save the image as fire 2 i'm going to delete this image right here get the latest unzoomed image which is purple fire 2 right there get my image strength all the way up to here keep my prompt as forest one image nice i think it kept everything mostly the same and you already know what i'm gonna do and zoom it again so now she's even farther back you can keep unzooming this image as long as it makes sense. You can of course just use the AI canvas to extend the background, but if you don't want to do that and just be lazy like me, then you can just keep unzooming it and keep extending the background right here. I personally had a lot of fun getting the unzoomed version of this image all the way to here. I think I'm going to keep trying unzooming her till she's barely visible. But I hope you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to click like and hit subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.